Queen conch are large herbivorous marine snails found throughout the Caribbean waters. They live in shallow to deep habitats and they feed on algae. Unfortunately, queen conch are in decline and the Bahamas are one of the last strongholds for queen conch in the Caribbean, where they are still heavily harvested. Queen conch are important because they are iconic animals in the Caribbean with their large, fully flared lips and beautiful ornate shells. Conch are important to the Bahamas for ecological, economical, and cultural reasons. They are an important food source for sharks, turtles, and other marine species. Conch also provide many jobs to different people. There are conch fishermen, there are conch restaurateurs, conch exporters, conch cooks, and of course, culturally, conch is probably the most important and iconic Bahamian dish. At Shedd Aquarium, we're working alongside partners in the Bahamas National Trust and the Cape Eleuthera Institute and Island School to go out and survey different habitats around the Bahamas for conch. Using the Shedd Aquarium's research vessel, the Coral Reef 2, we're able to reach very remote stretches of the Bahamas where we can deploy teams aboard small boats where they go out and observe conch populations. We work in teams of four with a boat driver, an observer who's towed using a snorkel and a snorkel board behind the boat, a data recorder, and someone observing the person in the water at all times and deploying the board. On the board, we have a camera to record what types of habitat we have, as well as handles to hold on to so you can dive down and really get up close and personal with the conch habitat. The person on the tow board goes up when they need air and then dives back down, taking high quality images of the habitat. Uh, we're looking for juvenile, subadult, and fully mature adult conch, and also noting how big these animals are, so we're going out and measuring them. The lip thickness is a great indicator of how old an adult individual is. In Eleuthera, we're documenting an increase in the harvest of juveniles. It's actually illegal to harvest juveniles. Current regulation states that you can harvest a conch with a flared lip. However, research shows that conch only becomes sexually mature and therefore able to make baby conch when they have a lip thickness of 15 millimeters. This means that if we're taking away all the adults and we only have juvenile conch left, or the juvenile conch are being taken and they are not able to contribute to the next generation of conch, we're going to see even more decline. It's really important for us to be working with fishermen. We're not trying to stop you from fishing conch. We want to make the conch fishery sustainable for the future and work together in order to achieve this. Our game plan from the scientific side of conch conservation is to take where we're finding these conch along with what the habitat's like. And since we can't survey every single inch of ground in the Bahamas, we can go back and build this into a statistical model so we can predict and protect conch populations into the future. The time to act is now. If we want conch for our children and for our children's children, we must do something to protect them. You can do this by supporting us at the Bahamas National Trust. We are working to preserve even more conch habitat as we have already done in the Exuma Keys Land and Sea Park and the Adultery Keys. And we need to promote a sustainable fishery for the future. MPAs, or marine protected areas, are a fantastic tool we can use in conservation because it protects these very large, dense areas of conch, which then can resupply and replenish depleted populations that have been overfished in other areas. So we're searching for these areas, trying to model where they might be, and then alongside partners in the Bahamas National Trust, perhaps recommend a course of conservation to protect these areas so that everyone can enjoy conch into the future.